Now, the rest of the story. The town of Dalton, Georgia, was almost completely destroyed by Sherman's troops. Dalton had been a major marketplace for farmers, stockmen, with grain, hogs, cattle, and copper ore moving in and out in wagon trains half a mile long. But now the town is devastated. What's left of industry is fragmented. Leached out cotton land was yielding less, and the market for it had dried up. And Dalton, Georgia might have drowned in its post-war grief, might have withered and died, as many towns did in those dark days, except that the women of Dalton would not allow it. Dalton, population 2,000 plus, became the first county in any state to vote itself bone dry. And then a young woman named Catherine Evans began to weave what was left of local cotton into hand-tufted bedspreads. I said the young woman began to weave what was left of the local cotton into hand-tufted bedspreads, first for her family, then as a wedding gift, and in 1900 she sold one, a hand-tufted bedspread, $2.50. Was this a new way to make cotton pay? The wife of a local dentist began making bedspreads to help support her family, then the wife of a department store owner, then the wife of a grocer, Miss Evans would lend the other women patterns. They taught one another how to stamp and work the spreads and sell them. By 1917, the Evans tufted bedspreads had become a manufacturing company. And within three more years, there were seven local companies selling bedspreads with such family names as Bates and Callaway. Well, today it's a half century later. The manufacture of bedspreads has been mechanized. In the process, Dalton, Georgia, has learned how to apply those machines to the manufacture of carpet. What began as a cottage industry has become one of our nation's biggest industries, with 223 corporations and 321 manufacturing plants located in 22 states. But the epicenter of this $8 billion industry is Dalton, Georgia. Most of all the carpet and rugs manufactured in America, and now for a worldwide market, are manufactured in Dalton, Georgia. And the families represented by the several mills, competing fiercely in business, are ultimately friendly socially. Nobody in town is more popular than Bob Shaw of Shaw Industries, the largest tufted carpet manufacturer in the world. A billion-dollar business with 160 acres of buildings and 10,000 employees, home based in Dalton, Georgia. The carpet capital of the world happened where it happened because once upon a time, the women of a tiny war-torn town refused to let that town die, and they were mobilized to action. They were encouraged to turn what was left of their leached-out cotton fields into tufted bedspreads, and those bedspreads accomplished the renaissance of a city and began a worldwide industry. And the young woman who first turned the cotton into yarn and the yarn into bedspreads and with fingers and needles and scissors established an industrial empire was Catherine Evans, a schoolgirl of 15. And now you know the rest of the story.